WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 117. NASDAQ up 27, S&P's up 9. We had the Federal Reserve folks cut short-term interest rates one quarter percent. That was the expectation. We are now at 1.5 to 1.7 on the discount rate. Discount rate, of course, is bank to bank. Gold contract. Gold contract up $8.20 trading at $14.98 an ounce. We had silver up $0.05, cents, $17.89 an ounce. Light sweet crude down $0.66, cents, $54.88 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. As the Fed fo folks came down one quarter percentage point, they bottom line uh, looks like inside the statement that they're going to stay flat for some time. That being said, the note and bond market continue to want higher price, lower yield. We had the 10-year go up 14 ticks today, 129.22. 30-year go up a full point plus 10 ticks at 159.31. And if we get over, we take a look at that 30-year first, what you're going to see out here, folks, the bottom line is that they're back to buying notes, buying bonds, buying the debt structure inside the treasuries in a, in a huge way. We've done 282,000 contracts. You had the price spread. That is saying that the 30-year now wants to go back to the highs that were generated out here on October 7th. That high is 165. The high, the high is 166.75. Uh, so bottom line is that uh, the Fed may be saying that, yes, guess what? We're going to slow down. Uh, we are going to keep your eye on inflation. That's what I think they're looking for. But the 10-year, folks, is trading at 1.77 right now. King dollar. What did King dollar do? King dollar uh, start moving to lower price. Gave it up on price in a big way out here today. We got to 98, closed out at 97 and a half. Uh, King dollar wants to get down to this 95 area. So I expect what we're going to see, we're going to see those metal markets uh, go topside once again as the dollar goes downtown. Because what we have had inside the metal market, metals were still very next, close to a high, when in fact the dollar was at its highs. Now the bottom line is that it's going to be able to get some relief because good old King dollar is backing down. Uh, the S&Ps went to an all-time high today, still light volume. We go, that, that's the real bottom line. To recap out here, Dow Industrials up 115, NASDAQ up 27, S&Ps up 10. Have a great night, safe night, and we look forward to speaking there right back here. But I'm Amos Larry Pesimento. Tomorrow morning, folks, 9 o'clock.